So this is the 45th year of the reform and opening up of China. And since that time, uh, China has become the world's second largest economy. And also, incidentally, the second largest medical device market in the world. So the achievements of China has been very impressive. I think going forward, uh, China will also face uh, a balancing act between uh, the cost effectiveness of the treatment, because we have a large population that requires treatment, as well as bringing the most innovative medicines and technologies into China that all Chinese patients deserve. So we think this will be a challenge, but I believe the Chinese government will do an excellent job of it. So within the last five years, uh, as you mentioned, Edwards has made great strides in our business. Um, we've more than doubled our business and also employed twice as many people as before. In addition, we brought some very innovative medicines and technologies uh, into the Chinese market. So within the last three years, we've been able to launch our transcatheter uh, aortic valves into the Chinese market, which is uh, a milestone product for our, our business in China. In addition, we've also been able to launch many uh, different, uh, including the Inspiris Resilia uh, surgical valve into, into China as well. And uh, the HPI hypotension, hypotension in, uh, predictive indicator. So all these uh, new products are milestone products for us, bringing the most innovative technology, the highest quality products into China. I think uh, Edwards has benefited enormously from uh, China's opening up and reform. We were founded in 2001 uh, in terms of our China operations headquartered in Shanghai. So we've been in China for over 20 years now. Since that time, in addition to launching innovative quality products, as I mentioned, including our Sapien 3 transcatheter valve, our Inspiris Resilia surgical valve, our HPI uh, monitoring technology, um, you know, we're bringing the most innovative and the high quality products to China. In addition to this, uh, we've been very active in education. So innovation and also education of the Chinese surgical and interventional communities on, the, on treating the aortic stenosis and uh, hemodynamic monitoring technologies. So we feel this is a, a, an important component of our responsibility in China is to educate more broadly on how to best treat diseases using our products and also uh, as a broad therapy class. Um, in addition to all this, I think it's also worth mentioning that uh, we're trying to go deeper into, into China, uh, into also third tier, fourth tier uh, hospitals. And, 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 and finally, I would say we also have to be you know, good, Chinese, good uh, corporate citizens in China uh, through our philanthropy efforts and also through the Edwards Foundation, uh, which is an important symbol and, and, uh, of our dedication to the Chinese market. We're not just here to make a profit. We're here to be uh, great citizens, community citizens in China. So we feel that very important as well. So innovation, education, and philanthropy. I think those and, and allowing us to go deeper and penetrate more deeper into China and reach more Chinese patients. That's our goal.